I'm Dick Simmons for the popular web series, Red vs. Blue. And I'm... Hi, guys! Did you miss me? You can't keep asking that every time you come back from the bathroom, man. Yeah, dude, it's gross. What? No! I was in Paris for three weeks! You guys didn't notice? Uh... Hmm... I talked about it for months! You helped me get tickets to the Louvre! That doesn't sound like me. At all. Simmons drove me to the airport! Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. Oh my gosh! You guys were supposed to feed my cat! Whiskers! Why, that was a perfect segue to talk about a very important topic. Etiquette when visiting a foreign country. A set of skills that will keep you from embarrassing yourself and your country overseas, and are a must in these trying times. What's wrong with Donut? I just saw him running away and ugly crying. Like, really ugly. Ugh. I don't know, broken nail? The first step of visiting a foreign country is getting the hell out of your country. That's where the airport comes in. You'll recognize it by the big sign that reads airport and the construction that's been going on for the last 15 years. Are you carrying any weapons or anything that might be considered a weapon today, sir? Of course. Several of them. Never leave home without one. Duh. My suitcase is just grenades. Are you carrying any weapons on you today? Anything that might be considered a weapon, sir? Uh... Um, no, uh, you might notice my suitcase, which happens to be in the shape of a, uh, gun. Uh, but it's only packing bullets. We're gonna need a passenger assist over at security. Four passenger assists. Oh, that was exhausting! My life started flashing before my eyes! Ugh, two whole hours! Traumatic experiences such as long flights can be overcome with simple distractions, such as watching a censored version of your favorite R-rated movie, throwing peanuts at the flight attendants, or writing down great ideas you only get with a feverish brain induced by cabin air pressure. Here's what I wrote. <coughs> Perpetual motion roller coaster. Reading light in funeral caskets. John Lovitz? John Lovitz? Adult diapers, but for babies? Clouds, skylight, tarmac. Did you just write whatever you saw out the window? We weren't playing I Spy? <laughs> when contemplating where to eat while on a trip abroad, it's advised to be adventurous and try new things. That's right. For example, McDonald's in Greece has a Big Mac with pita bread and tzatziki sauce. The Chinese McDonald's has black and white buns. And McDonald's Germany has a bratwurst sandwich. What about places that don't have McDonald's? We don't go to places that don't have a McDonald's. Why not? It's not safe. Value your life more, son. <laughs> a big part of traveling abroad is making connections with the locals by displaying your friendly American ways. Precisely. When trying to communicate with foreigners, remember that English might not be their primary language, so make sure to speak 150% louder than usual. Impress them with how better your English is than theirs. In turn, they'll be thrilled when you insist they teach you curse words in their native tongue. Um, guys, um, what does I mean, whoa! Oh my god, what's wrong with you? You're a monster! Go stand in the corner and watch your mouth, you piece of shit! As Sun Tzu once told us, everybody poops. And that's just as true on vacation as it is at home. But some countries have different facilities and habits than you're used to. For example, toilets in Japan are often much smarter than the average American soldier. Equipped with heated seats, rear cleansers, automatic lids, and candy dispensers for when you get hungry during a lengthy discharge. That's right, Griff. And in Australia, the water flushes the opposite way. Upwards? So the water splashes all over your face? Yeah, the water splashes all over your face, idiot. No, I mean counterclockwise. That's stupid. It sure is. And other places, like right here, the toilet is often outdoors and... Wh where is it? Where'd it go? Uh, I think that's it. You, you mean the hole? B but what do you sit on? I think you, if you just move... See, if you squat and turn... Oh, no way, never mind, I'm out. Just hold it till you're safely back home. Did you boys see the toilets in this dump? That's it. I'm aborting this mission. We're catching the next flight out of here. Thank God. Great. We managed to last... Ooh, 52 minutes. Personal best. That was 51 minutes too long. Where's Caboose? Uh, guys? I finished. How do I climb back up? <sighs> it's good to be back. Home is where your flushing toilet is. When you finally come back home, take a moment to look at the many souvenirs you've purchased at the overpriced gift shops. Even though you had a miserable time, your knickknacks will give everyone the illusion that your trip was amazing and better than anything they'll ever achieve. I got a Big Ben snow globe! We weren't even in England. Ah, they sell them everywhere. I wonder what other travelers cherish from their brave voyages. At least I have all this French cheese to comfort me. <laughs> it smells terrible. On a final
final note, don't forget to tell all your friends about your trip in great detail, even if it's been four years. Have a slideshow prepared and running. Everyone will love to hear about the time you got food poisoning in Hong Kong again. You know, that reminds me. Did I ever tell you about that time I... Yes, yes many, many times. times. Well, you're going to have to listen to it again. It's an order. Oh, yeah. God. Well, it was a hot August summer, back when Florida was still around. Oh, crap. I think I forgot my suitcase in the spinning thingy. Nah, I got it for you. Don't worry. I'd never leave a friend hanging. Guys? Guys? Ooh, pillow. No, nope, definitely not a pillow. Guys, you're not going to believe this. The TSA is down here.